Hey everyone, it's Gary again from Memory Motors, and today I'd like to introduce you to Tony. Tony is a 1970 Ford Torino GT. Kind of an unusual car, you don't see too many of these around, especially in a convertible. Uh, as you can see, the paint uh, is fairly fresh. There are still some spots in it where uh, a little bit of dirt in the paint, some marks here and there. So hopefully some of them will show up on the video so that you can see them. Looking at the back bumper, you can see that some of the chrome is starting to peel on it. The back bumpers are still available aftermarket, so hopefully that's not too hard a thing to find. Again, the rest of the chrome seems to be in, in decent condition. Wheels still have some rust that needs to be cleaned up on them. A few minor imperfections, again, in the paint. I don't know if you can see them, if they're showing up or not in the, in the video. Hopefully they are. Again, I apologize for the shadows. It's a loose molding along the bottom of the door here that has to be clipped back on. Not a big deal, but we'll have to get it properly reattached. And again, you can see some rust on the front wheels. Interesting to see Mickey Thompson's. I haven't seen Mickey Thompson's on a car in a long time. I apologize. The Birds have not been friendly to my car today. Got a little bit of bird droppings on them, but all in all, the finish on the car is in really good shape. Front bumper as well. Still seems to have some surface rust starting here. And you can see that the headlight doors are faded as well and could probably do with some touch up paint if you wanted to touch them up. Other than that, the certain Candy apple red color really pops very well in this car. And some more of the little dirt marks in the paint that you can see. But all in all, really decent finish on the outside. The wheels, I'm sure that we could uh, give them a little bit more cleaning. As you can see, this one's nowhere near as bad. It's been cleaned up, so hopefully the remaining wheels will turn out the same. Okay. As you can see, the interior on it's still pretty dusty, needs to be cleaned up. Um, there's some holes that somebody was kind enough to cut in the front doors for speakers. So we'll see if we can find some speakers and speaker grills to cover those up with. Front seats are cracked. As you can see, the, the original covering on them is not, uh, not in the best of shape, that's for sure. But the carpet was recently replaced and is still in really good shape. It does need to be finished around the edges with new uh, scuff plates which would finish it off and make it look great. Back seat again is kind of dusty, but needs to be, uh, once it's cleaned up, I'm sure it would be fine. Kind of concerned that this console may not be the original console for the car. Um, does look like it fits properly, but the brackets at the back don't seem to fit very well. So we're kind of concerned with the way it lines up. And these swirl patterns in the dash, my understanding is that those are factory. But, of course, the dash would have to be replaced because there's a crack in it anyways. But, these are all cosmetic things. Don't really stop you from driving the car. Let's go around and take a look at the driver's side. Okay. Now take a look at the driver's side. Again, door panels need to be cleaned up. As you can see, it looks like there was an armrest here off another vehicle. Somebody tried to paint it to match. It looks like it was blue at one time, but, again, that can be refinished without too much trouble. Back seat as well. Kind of in... Decent shape, but it gets, needs a good cleaning. And the driver's seat, of course, similar condition to the passengers. Depending on what you want to do with the car, could probably use recovering as well. Going inside here, take a look at the dash. Don't know if you can see the mileage here or not, but it shows up 48012. We have no idea how many times it's been around or what the actual mileage may be but that's what's on there so just wanted to show that car does have just regular heat and temperature controls no air conditioning now let's fire it up and see if we can hear it run well, there you go starts up fairly easy this car has always been a good starter as you can see the engine's still cold so that's a relatively cold start. It was started up earlier today, but that was a number of hours ago. 
let's take another look outside. This is my personal favorite part. I love that sound. Definitely North American muscle. Okay, let's take a look under the hood. We have a 351 Cleveland two barrel. This is the Cleveland engine before it became a Cleveland modified. So in many opinions, it's the better Cleveland engine. My opinion as well, they seem to run well. And of course this is pre emissions. So definitely my favorite choice as far as 351s go. Definitely more power than the Windsor, which is essentially just a 302 with uh, different heads. But very, very neat, again, fairly common for the day. Don't know if you can see this sticker now, I'm trying to zoom in on it. Basically talks about maintenance schedules and so on. Car runs very well. Brand new battery has been installed. No significant oil leaks. You can see there's some seepage around the uh, valve covers there, but nothing's dripping. Radiator looks to have been replaced not too long ago. Also, the convertible top's in excellent shape. No rips, no tears. Seals up. We'll have a video of it opening and closing for you. The only real issue is like most plastic windows, they do tend to fade over time and develop some sort of sunlight damage. So again, if it was something you're really concerned about, you can replace the window without too much trouble at all. Okay, so as promised, we're gonna run the convertible top here just so that you can see how well it works. There is one piece of the interior part of the cover that is ripped, so that's what you saw hanging loose there. It's not the actual top itself. And it does go up as well, just as smooth as it goes down. More dryer sheets. <laughs> okay, now let's take it for a drive. Car goes straight, no real issues with the steering, everything is good and tight. The spare parts rumbling around in the trunk there, but uh, otherwise accelerates really well. four-wheel drum brakes. Runs and drives really well. Beautiful car on a beautiful sunny day. Go out and have some fun with it. Hopefully it will bring one of you a great deal of joy in the future. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful car. Great car to have on a sunny day. Take out for a nice run. Enjoy yourself. And if you would like more information on Tony or would like to drive him yourself in person, please reach out to us at memorymotorsca at aol.com or you can reach us through Facebook or the old-fashioned way by telephone at 905-537-3673. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.